It's breaking news out of Schenectady this morning. Fire crews responding to multiple fires. Our Jennifer Mullen joining us live from the scene with the details. Jen. Julia, a much quieter scene right now. Take a look. It's kind of dark, much different than what we saw earlier this morning. Let's take a look at the video just so you can see what it was like a couple hours ago. The apparatus filled the streets, and this is after an overnight fire damaged several properties and even some vehicles. The chief told me that there was at least four properties involved between Sumner and McClellan Streets, even a few vehicles, a motorcycle, all damaged because of this fire. Now, a nearby neighbor called in the fire and the crews responded just after 1 30. No injuries were reported and luckily no one was displaced. Now the chief also told me this morning that they have requested resources from the Office of Fire and Prevention Control to help with the investigation. I asked him if he thought this might have anything to do with mischief night or being so close to Halloween. He said it's still too preliminary to determine a cause. Whether there were any uh, mischievous people around tonight uh, that's a question we'll have to ask the police officers in the area. I haven't heard anything along those lines so far, but certainly that's something that we'll look at. Now we're bringing you back here live to Sumner Street and what you're seeing right there is that white pickup truck that was part of this fire and something that is going to be looked at very closely later this morning. And this house, which is the fire truck right here is kind of blocking it, but this uh, behind this home is the garage and that garage is fully damaged, uh, really took the brunt of this fire and that's where they think this fire started this morning. But again, they're waiting for the Office of Fire and Prevention Control to arrive during uh, daylight to investigate this f fire much further. We'll continue to stay on top of this and bring you the latest developments throughout the morning. We're live in Schenectady. I'm Jennifer Mullen, CBS 6 News.